Welcome back to the channel. Dogs are not the only pet that can benefit from home cooked meals. We're going to show you today how to make a vet approved cat food that is loaded with vitamins and amino acids that are necessary for your cat's health. Commercial foods do not have the moisture that your cats need, creating havoc on their bladder and their kidney. Commercial foods are also full of byproducts as well as processed foods and synthetic, not to mention the recalls that are so numerous. As with any diet change for your pet, whether it be your cat or your dog, check with your vet and also watch their weight so that you can be assured that you're not feeding them too much or too little. Zena here, she is our bangle. <laughs> she doesn't like to be picked up, can you tell? Um, but she will soon be 14 years old and she has been very healthy through her years. As you can see, she is not, well, she's not very happy with me right now, but you can see how much energy that she still has, even at this age. Huh? She's a man. Who's a man? Who's a man? Ah. We're gonna fix you something to eat, Dina. <laughs> but she is very healthy. So hang out with me and let me show you how to put this recipe together for this homemade vet approved cat food. <laughs> so let's go over the ingredients in this healthy vet approved cat food. We'll be using one pound of ground turkey. We have our protein, our amino acids, and also taurin in this. We will be using one egg, which has our vitamin A and E. We have vitamin K in our organ meat, as well as additional amino acids, so the taurin that your cat really needs. Your um, organ meat also has your vitamin D. We have our omegas in our flaxseed, as well as in our salmon. This is a wild caught salmon. We also have our calcium in our salmon because we use the bones and we grind grinded the bones up in here to make it easy for and safe for the cat to digest. We have our sunflower oil. This has your omega-6. We also have vitamin B in this ground turkey and also in the aminos. So these proteins are very nutritious for the cat. We are using some pumpkin. Um, the pumpkin has vitamin A, C, as well as calcium and potassium and fiber. And then the carrots, um, potassium, vitamin C, calcium, and iron. We will also be adding some plain gelatin. So this is the unflavored gelatin. This helps to restore joint health, improve skin, fur, and also teeth health. Um, our ingredients, we have ground all of these up to make them easy to digest, and also to make them um, safe for our pets. You will start by getting yourself a saucepan. You will add to it two tablespoons of sunflower oil. I have used coconut oil as well. And then we will add to that one pound of ground turkey. You'll get this all fried up. Now we'll add the carrots. Again, these are ground up really small so that you can, your cat can get the nutrition out of that vegetable. Now you can, don't have to focus over there. That's where we've been busy today with some other recipes. You want to check out the channel because we do a lot of people food as well. <laughs> we will now add our organ meat. So what we have here is chicken livers and chicken hearts. And I did grind these up. Um, you can use beef, uh, but I find that Zena does not like the beef livers um, as much as she does the chicken. So there you go. <laughs> now we will add our egg. Now we save these shells. I'm not putting shells in this recipe because I have the calcium in the bones of the salmon that I'm feeding her. Um, but we will save these eggs. We'll wash this out. 
those will turn into powder that we will put into our either our pet food recipe or we'll use it in our worm den. I do cook the turkey, the egg, the organ meat, and the carrots um, so that they are done and soft. The end of the recipe, I will be adding the salmon. And I did put some of the juice in here. Um, it is recommended that you use a little bit of salt in your cat food when you make it. That's a, a, nutri a, a nutrient that your cat needs. There was salt in this canned salmon, so I cut back on the salt. I did add about a half a teaspoon to this recipe that I had neglected to tell you up front. So, but it's there, it's also in the recipe that's in the description. And then we will add our pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> I, I have been accused of taking the P out of the second P out of pumpkin because it's pump, pumpkin. But pumpkin is so great for your cat's um, digestive system. It will help them if they're constipated as well as it will help them if they have diarrhea. So really good for the digestive. So I'll let this cook just a little bit more then I'm gonna be stirring in that black seed. Lastly, we're going to stir in our gelatin. This also makes the food almost like a pate, depending on how much you put in there and how much liquid that you put in your food as well. The liquid that you put in your, in your food will be contingent on what your cat likes. So does your cat like a lot of gravy or do they not? So you do want to make sure you do have enough liquid in there because remember, your cats don't drink a lot of water. And then we're going to put in our flaxseed. You will want to use round flaxseed. You will not want to put it in here whole because your um, cat will not be able to digest that. Won't be able to absorb the nutrition. So it doesn't take very long for this cat food to cook. Um, we have been cooking this for probably a month not including the filming part, maybe 10 minutes. Um, if you want to come over here and take a look at the consistency in it, I have not added any water or bone broth to this yet. So all of this is just the juices from the turkey. And I did put some of the juice also from the salmon. So for my cat, she does like a little bit of gravy. So I will be adding a little bit of water here. Um, I do have bone broth, um, but they're in big containers. I use that um, more so really for my dog food. Um, and I didn't have any thought out. So I'll be using just a little bit of water in this for Zena to make that gravy. So this is about the consistency that Miss Zena likes. Okay, we're going to let this cool and then we're going to come back and uh, see how Zena likes this recipe. You want some, Dina? You want some? How you like that? You like that? That's good stuff, isn't it? I think it's a winner. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and also hit notifications so that you'll get all of our recipes as they post. The recipe for this will be down in the description as well as some explanations on the vitamins that are in this and how they can benefit your um, your kitty cat. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you try this or let us know what your recipes are that you use for your cat. And until next time, stir the pot.